I wonder how many satellites are in orbit. There are thousands. Whoa! What? Whoa! Ah! The satellite we're visiting and many others like it are machines that have been launched into orbit. They send and receive signals to and from the Earth so that we can communicate with each other. Wow! So Corby and Lily's call had to go all the way up here before the signal got sent to us? Not just their call, everybody's calls. And videos. Look, weather reports. La 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 <laughs> la and, and music. So without satellites, we can't call our friends, watch shows, or even know if it's gonna rain? Wow. Let's see if we can see what's wrong with this satellite. Hold on. Whoa, wow. There's the problem. Oh, the antenna is bent. It can't send and receive signals from Earth if it's damaged. Well, I guess I better go straighten things out. Wait, you mean the antenna, right? You're going to go straighten out the antenna. <sighs> That's right, Chester, the antenna. Oh, good. Just wanted to make sure. Ugh. Whoa, whoa! Yes, I made it. Great, Marco. Now go over to the bent piece. Ugh. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Phew! Okay, now straighten it, then tighten the bolt so it stays put. It's stuck! Yeah, Marco, you did it! Way to push! Whoa! 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 Oof! Uh, I'm okay. Is it working? Corby, Lily, can you hear me? Marco. We're happy to see you too, because we've got a big problem. What? We forgot to pack spoons. Last time I ate soup without a spoon, it wasn't pretty. Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Message received. We'll bring some. Hey, where's my drill? Prepare for landing. It's okay, Lily. It's not your fault. I didn't want to play with blocks anymore anyway. <laughs> Great flying, Willow. That asteroid really stuck up on us, huh? Well, we won't let that happen again. Warning, warning, warning. Asteroid approaching. Oh! Okay, so an asteroid snuck up on us twice. Definitely not a third time. <gasps> See? <laughs> it's okay, everyone. That bump was just another asteroid hitting ours. <laughs> another one? But I thought all the asteroids were super far apart. They are, but sometimes they cross paths, and wham, they break up into smaller pieces. It's been happening for millions of years. It's just what asteroids do. It is, isn't it? Chester, you're rebuilding your toy? I am. Well, what if it breaks again? Oh, it will for sure. But I won't let it bother me because I like playing with blocks. It's what I do. Me too. <gasps> 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 well, I'd rather 
not be surprised by another asteroid again. So I'm buckling up, just in case. We do, we do. Polos, we are not getting surprised by another asteroid. Uh-oh, Willow, please get us out of here before I say anything else. <laughs> So an asteroid belt isn't what keeps their pants from falling down. <laughs> but maybe asteroid tape will help keep their pieces together. Corby, <laughs> <laughs> that's really silly. Let's see what these things can do. Yeah! Yeah! Hold on, guys. I can fix this. Oh. Uh. Whoa! Huh? Ah! Uh, whoa! I think these chairs need a huh, giant snowball. A giant snowball? Giant snowball headed straight for us. Uh. Hang on, Polos. Whoa! What was that? It was huge. Let's find out. Whoa! Uh -oh. You know, I think that giant snowball is a comet. Comets are just big balls of ice and dust and rock until they get near the sun. Look, it's changing. Is it melting? It looks like the heat of the sun is setting it on fire. Because the sun's energy heats the comet's ice and gases. It's growing a long tail. Whoa! Whoa! It's the rocks and ice from the comet's tail! Willow, what do I do? Ah! You got this, Lily. Remember the button I told you not to touch? Well, punch it! Punching it! Ah! to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first astronaut to walk on the moon. He did it many years ago. Gorby's gonna be so upset. It's okay, Chester. He's going to find out eventually. It's better just to tell him. He'll understand. Ta-da! Who wants to take a picture of me being first on the moon? Me! Uh, uh, <laughs> me! Huh? Gorby! Lucky! Arriving at the moon. It's kind of hard to miss it, huh? <laughs> Buckle up, Polos. It's time for a moon landing. Now we're here! I'm the first to walk the moon. This is amazing! Yeah! Me next! Yay! Now 
I'm the first to hop on the moon. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh! Now I'm the first to fall on the moon. Uh, Gorby, there's something I need to tell you. Whoa, whoa! Ah! Low gravity! I forgot. Easy peasy. I know. It takes a little getting used to. But it's fun to be this light and floaty. Yes, the moon's gravity is much lower than Earth's. But that's not what I was going to tell you. In fact, why don't I just show you? A flag? How did it get there? Astronauts planted it when they landed here back in 1969. So they were the first explorers to walk on the moon? Not me? <gasps> this is great! I know, it's, huh? Great? How? Because it's giving me a great idea! I may not be the first explorer to walk on the moon, but I am the first polo to walk on the moon. And it's my dream come true to be here with all my friends to enjoy it. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, who's the highest jumper on the moon? Go! <laughs> he went outside before he heard me. Marco, Marco come, come in. in! Hey, Willow. Hey, Chester. See any cool sea creatures approaching? I'm ready for my close-up. I think I see something over there. Oh, yeah. It looks like a whale. It's pretty big, too. I think I better go back to the polar marine. Basking shark approaching. Basking, Basking shark? Ah! Wait, Bulls, wait. It's okay. Basking sharks are not dangerous. But his mouth is wide open. And it's coming this way. Whoa. Don't worry. The basking shark swims with a wide open mouth so it can eat plankton. There are the teeny tiny plants and animals that you can find everywhere in the ocean. Huh? Oh, nice! Wow! Okay, basking shark, say plankton! Nope, too blurry. Wait, basking shark, come back! I need to take a better one! Shark approaching. Yes! The basking shark is back! This one isn't a basking shark. Its mouth isn't as big. Then what kind is it? Audrey, we need a closer look. <gasps> a a great, great white, white shark. shark! The biggest predator shark there is. You mean the kind that eats sea lions, fish, and seals? I'm coming in! I have an idea. Why don't we give you a hand? I'm swimming as fast as I can! Thanks, Willow. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Marco. Great white sharks have five rows of long, sharp teeth. Close to 300 teeth in total. Great white sharks are cool and all, but I don't need to see their teeth that close. Sorry you didn't get the shark picture you wanted, Marco. Not yet I haven't, but I will in a few seconds. Really? How? With my camera that I left outside. Definitely a rock. Maybe he meant this. Hey, Nash, is this what you wanted to show us? No! This time he totally meant... No, I got it. Come on! <sighs> hey! 
Lucky! What is what? it? Look! Um... Cool? Is that what you're trying to show us? Mm -mm. Then what did you want us to see? Snake! Swimming, swimming, swimming! You saw a snake swimming? Snakes don't swim underwater, do they? I've never heard of that. Me either. Maybe he saw a long fish. Or a piece of seaweed. <gasps> a snake! <gasps> it's a snake! Let's follow it! It looks like it's taking a breath of air. I'm looking it up. It's called a banded sea crate. It can't breathe underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Hello, hello, snake. Come here, snake. Oh, and it says the crate is venomous. <gasps> No? No! No! Okay! No. It's coming this way! Look out! Uh-oh! Right! Oh! I mean swim! Nash, watch out! To tell you, crates usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. 